Well, we had a lot of struggles uh, throughout our marriage, but um, I was, whenever I was younger, I was molested by an uncle. Mm -hmm. And so I really feel like that that set me on a, a dishonesty course mm -hmm. of who I was and what I was about. Yeah. And uh, so that lasted till I was, well, let's see, how old am I? So it lasted for 33 years, you know, until I was 33. This is hard for you to talk about. Still. <sighs> yeah. I appreciate you sharing with us. It must be very, I, I, I mean, it's definitely still close to her. It's the core of our story, you know. Absolutely, and I love this because right. now the people can go read this book, too. Absolutely. And learn how to not let it fool you. Absolutely. Anyway, and I never know. Sometimes I can talk about it and it doesn't <laughs> affect me. Sometimes I cry. <laughs> yeah, that's you right. You make me cry in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, cry very often. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think that... Um, and like Alan said, I had not really had a lot of, other than, you know, sexual abuse, I had not had... Real love. Yeah. And I'd had mm -hmm. not, not had an experience with a guy until him. Mm -hmm. So I truly lost my virginity with him at mm -hmm. 15 years mm -hmm. old. But uh, whenever he left, and I think it was, I really don't ever want to blame him for anything, but... He whenever, just... whenever he left, it was a rejection. Exactly. And uh, so no I trauma. took, right, I took that rejection to be that I was not good enough. Mm -hmm. And so for, you know, the next two years, I did as much as I could to prove to myself that I was good enough. And it didn't matter what that included. That included sleeping with as many people as I could, mm -hmm. uh, drunk, you know, it didn't matter, all of it. And so that lasted um, till he came back. And whenever he came back, it was, and I hate to say that he was uh, my savior, but he, he really did save me in the way that he um, kind of rescued me mm -hmm. out of that thinking. And But even then, Satan still had a hold on me because I had not ever turned that over to him. You know, I, I thought that I just wanted to hold on to it. But um, I still just never really got it until I was about 33. And um, I'd been in a relationship with another man for 14 months, still married to Alan. And uh, we went through that trauma. Mm -hmm. um, Alan found out, and which was good. That was a good thing. Yeah. Um, Especially if it didn't really feel good you. at the time, yeah. but you know, I kept I kept asking God for an open door, and God kept opening doors, but they weren't the doors I wanted to go through, because I wanted to get out of it without ever anybody ever knowing. But He had other plans. Um, I think too that He knew that if I, if I got out of it without anybody knowing, that eventually it would come back and I would do it again. But at this point, once. Um, once we found, once he found out, once we went through um, counseling, um, and then I did a step study with a Celebrate Recovery group, um, just people, you know, just people in our lives, friends, Bible studies. I really came to know who Christ was, mm -hmm. and then I was able to give him all of that because at the first I was not able to do that, mm -hmm. and. Um, I mean, that was 15 years ago. So the first half of our relationship, since we're celebrating 30, the first half was rough. Um, we also had a miscarriage in there. We had a baby that was born at um, 29 weeks. Um, just several things. We, um, you know, we had two, our two kids are only less than two years apart. So it was just, you know, things one right after yes. another. Mm -hmm. Alan went through preaching school. We went through a period where we had really no money, you know. We, um, at one point, had to get um, food stamps because, I mean, you know, there was just no money to go around. So what we like to say is that we really have been through a lot of the same things exactly. that all of the people around the world have been through. Mm -hmm. But 
God was our rescue. He was the one that, that pulled us out of the pig's pen and set us on new ground and said, this is what I have in store for you. Well, I mean, had we not went through all we went through, how could we help anybody with their problems? Mm-hmm. And um, so saying all that, if, if I knew that I would be where I am today, I'd do it all over again. Of course. Go through everything that we went through all over again just to get to this point that we're at today, you know, together as a couple.